Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. Now today our next question for the Python programming practice is basically that write out a Python program to count the number of events at odd numbers from a series of numbers. Right now, till this point we are at this position that I have like if you have watched out my videos very much carefully. So now this question you will be able to solve on your own. You do not need a single, single, very single help from me as well for solving out this question because this question is a very super easy one, right? See what it is asking into this question. If you are just uh, like knowing that what's the answer for this question, what's the program, how to proceed on with that. So I would recommend you to pause out this particular video here itself, write out the program on your own and then come back and match out that have you put out the correct uh, like correct formula and the correct concept or not, right? So let's begin up here. My question says to me to write out a Python program to count the number of even and odd numbers from a series of numbers. Now. Uh, we, we have a let's say list of numbers. You, you define a list, you define a tuple, whatever you just wish, you define that. Let's say I'm having a series of numbers. Let's say 1 to 10. Right? I'm having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm having these 10 numbers. Now, from these numbers, I need to count that total how many even numbers I am having and total how many odd numbers I am having into this particular range which I had put on here. That is 1 till 10. 1 till 10, I'm having total how many odd numbers and how many even numbers this is what i just want to calculate out here right let's see so in that case basically uh, so in that case let's like uh, what you can just do is that define a list or tuple after that check out which one is even or odd and put uh, put out one incrementation operator to increment the number as soon as you get out the even numbers in that increment one and for the odd as well increment one this is how you should proceed on with this program let me go on to the one note for now and let's let's discuss about this question for a while then we'll be proceeding on on to the pycharm it right let me just take out a quick color just one second let me take out a quick pen from here so that i can just write here fine um okay let's say i'm having a variable oh let me just take out a little bit thicker one because i basically if you're watching out from phone so it must not be too much clear let me take out the variable let's say that is num okay and into this num i'll be storing out some tuple let's say that tuple is i'm having uh one two and i'm having five nine then i'm having four then i am having let's say 10 i'm having 20 i'm having 21 let's say these are some numbers which i'm having into this particular tuple um i have simply taken out the random values here random numbers okay now after this i'll be declaring two variables here first one will be for the odd one and the second one would be the uh even one so i would just write odd underscore num and i would simply initialize them to zero for here and why I am just doing this in just wait, wait for one minute, we'll be getting to know that why I am initializing these both of the variables and putting out the value as zero to them. Right, I was just telling you that thing. Now, what I can just apply here as I need to check each and every element into the tuple which I am having and to check each, check each and every element, right? In that case, I could simply apply a for loop. Till this point, we had practiced this much of questions that now you must be able to understand on your own that in which question, what conditions to apply, right? If you have listened to me very carefully, so now you'll be able to figure this out on your own. My for loop starts that for i in, so for i in, and the variable which I stored my uh, numbers, that is num. So for i in num, my condition checks out here, okay? If okay let me come down okay just one second not in that as if let me just erase this out and um, right here okay just one second uh with that black, black color which i was using right here so i would just apply the condition if if uh, i that is i actually not x so if i percent two is equal equal to zero if my this is the condition which is actually satisfying so here just write that that one is the even right so even underscore num plus equal to one now when i just try to do short form that is even underscore num plus equal to one so that actually means even underscore num is equal to even underscore num plus one this is what actually satisfies and goes on here right this is what actually goes on here fine that is okay next i will be applying out my else condition else else what to do else to go into the odd one so odd underscore num odd underscore num plus is equal to one 
right and simply coming out of the for loop simply use out the print statements and just print out both of the variables that is even underscore num and the odd underscore num right first of all this is how the program will actually how the program you will be printing out next thing that comes here let me take out this cursor first of all okay let me change out the color so that uh, it can be differentiated between the things let me just do one thing here um right so now it will start from my follow for i in num if i percent is equal equal to zero first of all i in num that is my basically my very first value that is one okay if one percent two is equal equal to zero so is this the correct thing that is one percent two equal equal to zero no this is not the condition which actually satisfies so what it will go it will go on to the else loop and odd underscore num now odd underscore num plus is equal to one so here i would having zero right so zero plus one is equal to one for odd one i have got here as one right fine now my second condition that applies as my second number which i'm having that is two right so if i percent 2 is equal equal to 0 yes 2 percent 2 is equal equal to 0 so even underscore num plus is equal to 1 so in even as well as i was having 0 so that has been incremented to 1 so in even as well i'm having the value which is 1 my third number is 5 here so it will not satisfy my if condition and it will go on to my else part so in the else part this odd will be incremented with 2 now okay this odd will be incremented with 2 what about 9 9 will also go into the else part because this is not the one which is satisfying my if condition. So now this 2 will be incremented to 3. What about this 4? This 4 will go into this if condition, right? If i percent 2 is equal equal to 0. So this i would be incremented to 2. So after this we have 10, 20 and 21. So 10 would be in the even that is 3. 20 would be in the even that is 4. And 21 will be here. So even and odd. Now we are having the same numbers for the odd and the even. So for odd I am having total 4 numbers. And for even I am having total 4 numbers. Right. I'll just quickly see out here. So let me just take out a highlighter here. So that I can just highlight. See. 2 is an even number. Then 4 is an even. 10 is an even. And 20 is an even. Right. So these are 4 which I am having here as an even one. Now what about the odds? So odd I am having 1. I'm having 5, I'm having 9, and I'm having 21, right? So from this, I simply got out that odd is 4 and even is 4 as well, right? I hope that first of all, you have got a clear idea regarding what I was trying to convey from this particular program that how we just write out the things, how we use out the for loop and the if conditions here, right? Let's move on to the PyCharm IDE and implement out the same thing and let's see how it actually goes, right? Fine, so let me just come down. Num. Num is my variable on which I'll be working, right? So put out the tuple. Let's say I'm just taking tuple. You can just take out a list as well. Okay, that totally depends on you. I would just take out numbers. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm having 10. Okay, right. I'll be taking odd underscore num. That is actually equal to 0. Then I have even underscore num. And this variable as well, I'll be initializing that as 0. After this, my for loop goes that for for i in for i in what is my variable which I'm looking for that is num, right? So for i in num, my condition uh, applies that if i if i percent two is equal equal to zero, if i percent two is equal equal to zero. So in that case, simply do even underscore num plus equal to uh, plus equal to one. Okay, even underscore num plus equal to 1. And if, if this is a not condition, then into my else part, what do I actually do here? In that part, just write for the odd one. So, odd underscore num plus equal to 1. Right? And come out of my for loop as well. Now, use out my printer statements here that the, the total of the total of even numbers uh, the total of even numbers is, and I could just put out a colon here and give out some space, put out a comma, let me come down. After this comma, I could just write here even underscore num. Okay. My second print statement would be for my odd number. So I could just add here the total, total of, the total of odd numbers is put out the colon like this and I will just put out a comma and here goes the odd underscore num even and even underscore num and odd underscore num are the variables in which i have stored the total right here we have done out the total 
so i'm just printing both of them right here so let me just now run out this program and here i am getting the total even numbers is 5 and the total odd numbers is 5 now let's go on to the uh, above couple and let's verify that is this thing correct or not so i'm having even as 2 4 6 8 and 10 these five are my evens and 1 3 5 7 and 9 these three are these five are my odds right this is how it actually goes let's do one thing let's do one thing let me just go on to the one note here and let's see that what are the numbers which we have taken we have taken 1 2 5 9 okay let me just write out all of those 1 2 i have 5 comma 9 uh, then we have comma 10 comma 20 we were having 21 as well and we were having one more as well that was 4 okay comma 4 now let me just run this out and here we'll be able to see that we're getting 4 4 the 4 events and the 4 odds right and this is the what this is what the answer which we have calculated into the one note as well right that odd and even both we are getting here as 4 4 right so I hope that you had got a clear and a fair idea regarding this program that how to count out the number of even and odd numbers from a series of numbers. Now, now this particular question can be manipulated in many ways that it is asking to calculate the even and odd numbers. In the second, let's say I just give you a program and that can say that calculate me all the numbers which are divisible by 10 and which are divisible by 9 which are divisible by 10 and which are divisible by 9, count me all of the numbers separately into a particular list. So this question can be treated in many, many, many ways. Now, it totally depends on you that how you are uh, seeing out the problem, how you are trying to implement that out, right? So this is all for this video. Till then, thank you and take care.